Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today we're going to be looking at making some bell tones with Zebra 2. There are two super easy ways to do this. So the first way is to just simply use the Spectral Blend mode in the Oscillator. So what we're going to come in here is we're going to go to Oscillator 1 and just choose a mode that relies on spectrums. So I'm going to go to Spectral Blend, and bell textures rely on sort of unusual harmonics, higher harmonics. They're not related in any sort of a ratio way to the fundamental. That makes it sound bell-like. So I'm just going to sort of randomly pick tones here. And we'll have this bell-like tone. Now, it's being sustained out. We have the timbre, but we don't have the tone yet. So to do that, or the volume envelope, that is to say. So to do that, we're going to bring our decay. We're going to leave that where it is. Bring our sustain down and bring our release up. This will just make it so the notes ring out. If you want more mellow of a texture, we could take away some of these higher harmonics here. Hold Alt and click drag to get rid of some of them. And we could add in some lower sort of harmonics. So that's a really easy way to do that. And then of course we just play some higher notes. And we could dial this in according to what we want. Now we have a bit much of the fundamental. Then what we could do is we could come into our effects, go to global, choose reverb. And away we go. Now, if you want more of that sort of plucky texture, just bring your decay down. Now there is another way we can do this. Let's set up a second Zebra 2. And on this one, we are instead going to go down the route. Let's close the other one. We're going to go down the route that relies on FM instead. So here, we're going to get rid of this. We don't need it, so we're going to remove it. We're going to add a frequency modulation, Operator 1. And right now, Operator 1 is down here. If we go to Frequency Modulation Operators, we see our first one. It's a pure sine wave. And actually, pure sine waves tend to be my favorite kind of bell textures just because they're just pure sine waves. Like, that's what we have. If we go in, bring the sustain down, bring the release up. I really like that just that kind of a sound. And then we add a reverb to that. Got to have the reverb, man. That, to me, I really like those kinds of textures. But we're going to spice things up and add some harmonics. So we're going to add another frequency modulation operator. And let's go for operator two. And we're going to turn this guy off. We don't want him coming out. So just turn the volume off on, on that one. And we're going to select and right click the first one and say, take the input from lane two. So now lane two is sending to lane one. And on here, we have frequency modulation by input. So now FM2 is FMing 1. It's a little confusing, but now if we play it, we won't hear anything yet because we haven't turned on any FM. So let's turn some FM on. We can get some really nice textures this way too. Now with this method, I tend to play much higher notes. And on here, it's going to be a bit bright, so let's toss a filter on. So we're going to go to our uh, filter, voltage-controlled filter, VCF. And let's just bring the cutoff down. We'll get a much more sort of ra railed in, riled in. We'll have a more controlled bell sound. Rained in. That's what I was looking for. Let's bring the resonance up a bit. Now in here, of course, it could be nice to toss an EQ on. So we'll come down to our... Effects area, sort of shave off the low end, and we could rein in. We could sort of pick areas that we want to bring out. And FM is really fun because you can come in and mess with the modulating operator. So right now it's just a pure sine tone. So let's bring our FM up a little more aggressively. And let's change it to something that's not a pure sine tone. Let's go for like a half sine. So I have this flat region, which would just help with the harmonics if I play lower. And then we'll compare that with the pure sine. So it's just a change in the harmonic structure. So I always recommend just sort of fiddling around with these and seeing which one you like the most. 
We also have that thing way up there on the high end. Let's get rid of that with a high pass filter. So I'm gonna go to VCF, VCF2. We're gonna come in here and choose a high pass and just bring that. Just make it a little bit cleaner because I saw some stuff down here if we get rid of this. That stuff, I didn't want that. So I'm gonna put that back. And okay, now from here, we can mess with the tuning of operator two. This would change the relationship and give us quite a variety. So let's come in here, move the tuning around. Generally something sort of strange, like a ratio that's not like related directly to the fundamental. Like if you go to 12, it's gonna be very tonal sounding. But you'll get much more of a bell texture if you choose something that's a bit funny and out there. Now, right now, our FM is sitting sort of statically. I don't want that. I want it to sort of change over time just for fun. So for our FM, I'm going to make it turn off over time. Oh, I forgot. You can't turn the knob without selecting something. We're going to give it envelope two. We're going to have it turn off over time. And we're going to bring our attack up. And we're going to bring our release way up so we don't have any funny behavior at the end. And you hear we have much more. It sounds almost like a bowl if we bring this down. That's what we have. And you could choose very different textures to get out of your bell sound. So this could be just a whole hoot fun. Basically, you just come in here, you choose various shapes. Like, let's try out the dual positive. I'm going to go back to our sign shift. Or we had the uh, quadratic shift, I believe. Try dialing up the FM. Now let's write in something really quick. This could be kind of cool. Let's write in a little melody line. Let's try out one of these. I'm going to hold Alt-Shift-T and make it 3-4. And... Let's do one of these, let's make it a bit slower. And we'll just write in a little waltz here. Now here is where we'll change the tune and see if we can't get something more we would want. Let's change the envelope to go the other way actually and turn the FM down. So this will basically turn the FM on when the note hits. Okay. Let's come in here and let's bring the resonance actually down a bit. And let's grab the tune on FM2. So you see how things like 12 produce super tonal st uh, structures where things like, I don't know, 5 will, will not. Actually, five will because it's related as a perfect fifth. But if we choose something sort of strange. So I'm going to choose 16. I really like the result here. It's very tonal. That's kind of what I want. Nice. And just a nice bell. And let's come in here and write something up. I've got my bell texture here. I'm going to mess with the synth envelope just a little bit to see the various things we can sort of get out of it. Maybe mess with the tuning along the way. But here is our final product.
So there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. Have a blessed day.